as to you want to strike him or hurt him on the way in. So they'll, 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 they're jabbing you and then they actually come in and see, see, my frame is always there. Oh, clinching, anti-clinch, knee, knee. Let's fight for the clinch for five minutes. It really, it really hurts. <laughs> when you go hard, it creates space. So it's really short. You don't have to come and pull it from the back. Hi, my name is Mike Soto. I'm a martial arts coach and combatives consultant with over 40 years of researching, learning, and teaching martial arts. I want to invite you to my new video course, Fundamental Skills for Martial Arts and Fighting. The contents of this video series is based on my extensive research in Muay Thai, Western boxing, and Chinese and Filipino martial arts. In this course, you will learn some essential skills that will create a more connected and relaxed body structure that will allow you to deliver more power in your strikes these body skills will create a more efficient way to use any offensive or defensive technique. You will also learn some essential footwork to guarantee the delivery of your techniques. These skills can be applied to enhance any martial arts practice and can greatly benefit anyone from beginners to advanced practitioners, regardless of style. Don't miss this opportunity to bring your martial arts skills to the next level. Okay, now continuing with the same theme as to you want to strike him or hurt him on the way in, from the clinch instead of immediately going into some counter clinching again this is situational you're going to feel when this is right now i always personally try to go for the strike right away so i like to frame up immediately when they're coming in even if they're trying to set it up with a jab because some guys they'll they'll set it up with a with a jab and then come in like this so they'll, they'll, they'll they're jabbing you and then they actually come in and see the jab actually turns into a clinch so immediately what you want to do is make sure that whether no matter what punch they're doing in your frame he's throwing a jab at me right and I'm, I'm parrying see my frame is still i'm relaxed but if he goes jab to clinch see my frame is always there don't get caught up you know when you're like this and he throws a jab and then goes to grab you see don't get caught up like that always be aware of your frame no matter what so i like to keep my frame even when i'm relaxed keep that that straight spine, even when I move in different positions here, I see I'm not, I'm not bending my spine, rounding it. I'm keeping everything, the hinges on the hip, and my legs drive the power. So on that vein, another option that you have from forearms is your elbow. Woo, this one sucks, guys. Muay Thai. This is, this is Muay Thai, and it's, it, again, I don't see it enough. People go into, oh, clinching, anti-clinch, knee, knee. Let's fight for the clinch for five minutes. No, the minute that you feel it coming in here, now you have this option, whether I'm in this stance or this stance, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use my elbow from this position and do a falling step. I'll go slow because this really hurts. It's like a spear elbow. It goes in this way, okay? I'm gonna keep it at the surface. It goes in this way. Like a sword. Right. It really, it really hurts. <laughs> when you go hard, it creates space. So that clinching he thought he was going to go get, now there's space created where you can then sneak in punches or move away, get out of the clinch, get back to the center of the ring or circle around. The awesome thing about it, uh, when you're just trying to uh, elbow someone, uh, maybe there is protection, there is no space, but this is fixed. It's just fixed. That, that's it's like that's going to get hit. And like, hello. The H ribs, <laughs> the solar plexus is all game, right? If I'm in this position here and I happen to attack with this elbow, okay, we'll do it like with, without any kind of clinching, uh, mm -hmm. just pretend there's some clinching yeah. going on here. This basically, I drop step, I drop step. And it's, it, it hurts really bad. Basically, it's going to be like this. See, I create, create for my frame. I'm creating power. It's like a wave. And I drop it in. So it's really short. You don't have to come and pull it from the back. Right there. Go oh, slow. Anyway, learn it from course. <laughs> yes, we have it in the course. So the course teaches you all of the fundamental movements to get all of this and many more techniques, how to acquire this power that's from just inches away, how to develop a frame in the body in a connected body so you can do a lot of powerful techniques from very short distances that most people are not used to getting hit with these weapons at this short range. So check it out, guys. All right, so once again, here's for, just for demonstration purposes, could be from any position. Here's the front one. Okay, I'm going slow. I will be going like this. 
just imagine. Right, from here, and I continue with, with punches. Or if I'm in, the, in this lead, it doesn't matter. I might step in and come in with this one. It might come in with the front one. See, it creates space. If you do this right and drop your weight on the tip of the elbow, spearing forward, it's going to cause a space. What you do from that depends on you. Striking, moving out, go to kicking range, depending on the fluidity of the fight. But it is a very, very high percentage usable move. Try to work it into your system or your way of sparring and let me know how it goes. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>